Let me down, let you down, let you down. She let you down. 
father, Bolt, this very day I must appear. If I don't go, they will come here. Oh, 
present you as a distinguished foreigner. Your name will be Marquis Rina. No one will be my widow either. Say yes. Well, I might be persuaded. You must. But if now don't be a coward, you owe it to yourself. Oh boy, you are right. You are right. You are absolutely right. Your rally will have a delightful time. In time, and in time.
He's not really my kid. I, I will write his life too. It gets better and better. He's better. My chambermaid! My boss! You seem to make bad impression. <laughs> Miss Tanya, how long have you been an actress? About as long as you've been a marquee, marquee. <laughs> <laughs> you look just like my chambermaid. <gasps> Chevalier, savoir faire 
performer, Miss Johanna Norrington, accompanied by the most accomplished, accompanied Mr. Michael Chiano, please vocalize by briefly on the chorus. Let's give her a warm heart welcome, Johanna Morrison. in here tonight. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Enjoy yourself last night, did you? I gave you change back, didn't I? <laughs> here, I want to tell you a little story. She was Jim's, a parson's daughter.
quel pennacchini, quel cappello, quella coma, quella vita. If I were a rich man, I'd be dying, I'd be All day long, I'd be If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. I'd be dying, I'd be dying, I'd be
<laughs> Never mind. That was just a joke. Very funny. We are not amused. Are you? Yes, no, Marquis. Stop calling me Marquis. I am not a Marquis. My name is Eisenstein, and I've come to serve my prison sentence. Will you please take me to my cell? Very, very funny. <laughs> I personally arrested Eisenstein last night in his home before Olovsky's party. He was at home? Very much so. He was thinking why he is dressing gown with his wife. In my dressing gown? With my wife? In his dressing gown with his wife. His wife is my wife! His wife is his wife. <laughs> he was happy how they kissed each other. Why? How they kissed each other. Goodbye. Where, 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 where is this Eisenstein? In his cell. I must see him right now. You need a permit to see a prisoner. Where can I get one? In the permit room. But you can't get one today. <laughs> I'll get one today. It takes me all week. <laughs> There's another lady to see you. What does she look like? Uh, like a prima donna. I'm going to see her. <laughs> <laughs> so there are two of me, and my other self drink wine with my wife, and I can't even get a permit to see myself. Oh. So you're here. I'm not only here, I'm there too. But what are you doing here? Well, I got a message that you wanted me here right away. That's because Eisenstein is a jackass. So at last we agree. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a briefcase and your glasses and your clothes. <laughs> I have been complained. I have been falsely arrested. <laughs> I can mind that so much of being locked up in this trappy cell. <clears throat> so, if anything happens to this glorious voice of mine, I'll hold you responsible. I take full responsibility. Ability. <laughs> and I guarantee that with the Dr. Thrush's miracle throat elixir, <laughs> in a few weeks' time, you will be at the Metropolitan. Well? <laughs> selling life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, my glorious voice has lasted to the world. Alfred! Can it be? My Alfred in my prison cell? I listen. Leave this place at once. My husband will be here any minute, and he must not find you, especially in that costume. It's not very good, is it? But you should see me as Faust. Oh, what a role! Oh, what an aria! <laughs> stop, stop! <laughs> Oh, 